Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we're going to do an easy beginner song play along for Ooh La La by The Faces. What a great hooky chorus this one is as well. Really good fun song to play. Of course you can approach it from lots of different levels so you can keep the strumming real simple. The chords are pretty easy, right? E minor to A all of the way through. Uh, but if you want, you can start to jig up the strumming pattern a little bit. I'll go through at the after the playthrough and take you through the actual pattern there played by Ronnie as well, because it's quite a fun one. And there's a few different kind of variations you can do where you add in a bit of the melody, tap it. Gonna show you that after the playthrough as well. So hopefully you'll enjoy this play along and I'll see you for more just after it's finished. What a tune that is. Man, Rod Stewart could really deliver, couldn't he? Uh, this is a really fun tune, as I mentioned before. It's mostly E minor and D. I completely forgot there was that G chord, a little solo bit in the middle, but E minor, D, and of course you need the G chord as well. So strumming wise, you can really hear, I, I kind of emphasized it at the beginning. I started off just playing on the beat. So just doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Then I changed to one, and you can really hear that's such a kind of a nicer groove for this kind of tune. So literally just playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I'm doing a very light strum on the one and then a bigger hit on the two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now once you get used to that, the accent on the two and the four, you can start to in kind of build that accent vibe into other strumming patterns so
but it's really having that heavy hit on the two and the four that kind of locks it into the groove properly. Now, if you're going to play the original recording, it's a little bit simpler again. This is kind of Ronnie's part, I think. It's a four bar sequence, so you end up having this on the D. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So that's going down, up, mute, up, down, down, one and two and three, four, down, up, mute, so just the outside like karate chop, one and two and three, four, and then two more downs, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, four, one, two. So that's the pattern that's played in the left hand speaker. There's a complementary guitar strumming pattern, a little bit busier over on the right hand side as well, but we're not going to be dealing with that one today. But what I do want to show you is the, the way of playing that little riff. For those of you who are kind of confident with your dexterity, shall we say, the idea with that same strumming pattern, you can get by just holding your D chord down, little finger goes down in the fourth fret of the third string and then off again then it goes down the fourth fret of the fourth string and then off okay so your little finger has to be fairly dexterous I've got a really short little finger and I can still do it so for many of you with a slightly longer digit you should find that that's not too difficult to stretch but you need to be pretty accurate with it and again timing one two three one and two and three and four. Then it goes on. One and two and off on the end as well. One and two and three and four. And then it's moving over to the fourth fret, fourth string on the end after three and off for four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Then it's one, two, three. melody so it's fifth fret on the fourth string you can kind of strum some of the rest of the notes as well I can often when I'm doing this kind of thing on an E minor I'm using my third finger because it just slides up my second finger might look like it's down and sometimes it doesn't sound bad if it's down but it's usually just hanging around muting that string Adding that kind of thing for a beginner can be a really cool little trick. The rest of the song's fairly simple. If you want to spend a bit of time working on that rhythm, that would work great. But as well, having those little fills that you can bring in is really, really good. Oh, this dude here can play guitar. He's got the little fancy bits down as well. So it might be worth checking it out if you're a fan of this tune or you expect it to be playing it out at a party near you sometime soon. So do remember, hundreds more songs over on the Beginner Song Course app. If you haven't got it already, you can change the tempo. You can add a capo. You can change the pitch. There's a one minute changes timer. There's strumming practice. There's finger style practice. There's a whole bunch more than the songs. But it's how to play guitar using songs as the core theme, okay? Complements the beginner's course on my website perfectly. There's a free trial for the app. Of course, the website is all free. So you might want to blend those two things together. It works out for a really great course. Hopefully, you'll go in and check that out. There'll be a link in the description and a link in the description over to the website where you'll find loads of help on the chords and the strumming and anything else that you might need and support from the community and all of that extra stuff as well. Hope you're doing great and enjoying your guitar journey and I'll see you for plenty more of that very soon. You all take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.